subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Spring is my favorite season. It's a time for renewal and cheerful gatherings. Today on Lady Mary Bath, I will showcase a vibrant tablescape to welcome in springtime. The inspiration for our spring table is the Grand Duchess pattern from Heinlich and Company. And I will tell you all about it when we take a look at the place settings, but I wanted to share with you how I acquired it. Just when I thought I was hitting pause on adding more to my dish collection, my daughter found a consignment shop in the Dallas area that we had not previewed before. And I was over a thousand miles away at the Ohio State University when she called to offer a virtual tour. So of course, how could I say no? And I kept going back to these dishes and I had no idea who the maker was. I liked the look. I could see so many possibilities. And there were eight full place settings with a serving piece for $75. Where can you get that much beautiful china, especially vintage, for that price? So I had her pick it up for me and I'm so very happy with it. They had Waterford, Baccarat, lots of great items. This is B&B consignments in Richardson, Texas. And I had her pick this up for me. I wasn't sure of the maker. It's probably Eastern European. Look at that scallop design with the floral in the center. For $16, that would be a great gift item. So I'm really glad to have that. And she passed this Julia Knight piece and I had her go back immediately. And it is the Kiwi Green, which is one of the colors that I have. This is great serveware. I love Julia Knight. So for $12, that was a real deal. If you live in the Dallas area, you might want to pop into B&B consignments. Let's take a look at the place settings. As soon as I had this pattern in my hands, I knew the search was on for the perfect tablecloth and I wanted to go big and bold for the spring table. So I pulled the blue and the lavender from the floral spray design in the Grand Duchess pattern and I ordered a couple of tablecloths from Amazon. And this was very affordable. It's the G Demoda. These were $14.25 each. Lots of different color options. And I decided I like the lavender a bit better. The blue is very calm and lovely and I'll save that for another occasion. But for this table, I really wanted something a bit more vibrant. The lavender backdrop is perfect for our Grand Duchess pattern from Heinlich and Company with the gilt edge yellow band and the floral sprays. It is vibrant and perfect for spring. I was glad to find out more about Heinrich and Company. I have some platters that I had acquired at Villarin Bach at the factory store in Metlach, Germany in the mid 80s. And I never understood why it had the back stamp of Heinrich. And I was glad to find out more about this porcelain manufacturer. In 1896, Franz Heinrich opened up a little shop in his parents' home in Zelp, which is in Bavaria. He was a porcelain painter and he acquired white porcelain pieces from local factories. And in 1901, he started his own porcelain company, producing some beautiful patterns and became the most important manufacturer in the Bavarian area. And after World War II, Heinrich and Company was the first porcelain production site to resume operations. And they became the number one porcelain seller in that part of Europe. In 1976, they were acquired by Villeroy und Boch and their name is still carried on some items. I have layered the salad and dinner plates for either a brunch or a luncheon. And you'll notice that I'm also featuring the teacup and saucer. I think that belongs on any brunch table and why not for a luncheon? This is known as a flat cup. You'll see the design is a bit more modern. This supposedly is a mid-century pattern that was probably made in the 1960s. I was unable to find the exact year and I could have easily place some of the other serving pieces, but I wanted to accentuate my crystal. I think that it needs to have a little bit of light as well. 
This is the Waterford Crystal Aragon Ice Beverage that's great for juice, for iced tea, or even for water. And in choosing the flatware, this was an easy decision. The Rogers Silver Plate flirtation pattern has a lovely floral design that goes very well with our Grand Duchess pattern. Instead of placing the matching bread and butter, I wanted to change it up a little bit and add a touch of spring. And last week at my neighborhood Goodwill, I found a set of five of these clover dishes for $6.99. This really says spring. It could be used for dessert. It could even be for a dinner roll or perhaps a special cinnamon roll or even placed on top of the salad plate for some fresh fruit. I think that adds a bit of light to our look. And for the napkin, I chose a very simple, crisp white cotton with a Battenberg embellishment. And I folded it to expose this design instead of adding a napkin ring. And this keeps a very classic look to accentuate our lovely pattern. You'll notice that instead of a table runner, I have placed a square overlay. This is a very traditional German table look. It's called a Mitteldecke, which is perfect to go with our German dishes. This I found at the flea market in Zalui, Germany, and it has a very nice spring look too with the eyelet pattern that lets the lavender tablecloth shine through. And it has a lovely machine embroidery. This is also easy care. Neither one of the tablecloths needs ironing, and that's what I like. Just pull them out of the dryer and they are perfect for the table. And I'll show you the lovely centerpieces I've created. My mother had a vintage basket collection and I first thought maybe I would place a rose bowl with some pretty flowers and candles, but since this is a brunch or luncheon table, I don't really think the candles are appropriate. And I was glad that I remembered her baskets. That is definitely a nod to spring. Spring flowers herald an end to dark winter days. I have brightened the mood with this colorful mix placed in antique glass baskets from my mother's collection. These are from about the 1930s and they're known as EAPG, Early American Pattern Glass, or as many of us call it, Pressed Glass. This green depression glass basket is probably familiar to you. It's made by the Duncan Miller Company. It's a flat panel and has an ornate handle. And in the center, this I believe is Cambridge from the Cambridge Glass Company. And this would have been made also in about the 1930s. It resembles the moonlight pattern. And in between each basket, you will notice a paperweight. This is a domed Waterford crystal piece with a floral design on the back side that is magnified to the front. This is the tulip. And on the other side of the blue basket, I have the rose. And these add a bit of interest to our table. The florals were quite easy to put together. I simply went to Hobby Lobby and got the short stems and a couple of longer ones that I cut to size. And it probably took me 10 minutes to do three baskets. And this way I can use them for something in the future with this lovely dish pattern. And this basket on the end is perhaps the most interesting. This beautiful glass basket made by the Duncan and Miller Company has a lovely sunflower design in the pressed glass pattern. It was made about the 1930s. And you'll notice that it has a bit of a purple hue, especially against a white background, which works really well for our table setting today with the floral sprays in the plate. Modern glass formulas don't discolor with age and sunlight as the old EAPG pieces do. And in time, it was noticed that this glass made without lead but containing manganese was found to turn a very light lavender if placed in a sunny window or otherwise exposed over time to UV rays. Prior to 1915, when most, but not all, glass companies ceased using manganese, they substituted selenium as the clearing agent. Companies such as Heise, Duncan & Miller, Fostoria, Cambridge, and Imperial Glass were some of the exceptions. I always say shop your home and your local thrift store. And I'm grateful that this new consignment store, B&B Consignments in the Dallas area, had this lovely pattern that I can now add to my table essentials and dish collection. It gives so many possibilities. And my mother would be very pleased that I'm using her antique 
baskets. I know that these are items that she coveted and displayed in her home. And I am glad to be able to feature such a vibrant table setting with this inspired pattern. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with seasonal table settings. Thanks for joining Lady Mary Beth. Please hit like and subscribe. I hope to see you next time for more lifestyle tips.